Now, as you select the sound, you'll notice here it'll play. And then right here, across from our little slot here for the volume, there's an I here. That's our information button. And here it gives us information about what's ever selected here. And you'll notice it has the file format, WAVE. It has the date modified, the file size, the type, the author, and the vendor. And I can also edit. So a lot of these sounds have already been set up into banks, types, modes, and properties. And we can also bring our own sounds in and we can select the bank, the type, the mode, and the properties. That way we can import our own samples. If you've got tons of them, we can also import samples directly in the machine. It will recognize where they are and we will tag them with some of these parameters. But I want you just to understand how the whole thing works. And you can see here it says read only. So we can't write that. So we can't edit that one sound. Let me read it. So this is the actual machine icon. This is user. These are our own sounds. Our own projects will be here. This is Native Instrument. That's their logo. That means we're in the Native Instruments library. Now, if you want to search for your own sounds, you go to File, and you can search your hard drive. In this case, I'm using a Mac. I can look at my Mac HD or my desktop or my Sample Kings folder. So here, let's say, for example, I want to go to uh, Groups. I'm looking for kits. But I'm not too sure what I'm looking for. I have no idea. What am I looking for? I don't know. But I want to get, let's say, an 808 kit, right? So I would go here and right here in this search field, I can type in what I'm looking for. I go 808. As you can see, it already populated that list with what is 808 inside the system. You search for it, well, this is 808 kit. Here's an 808 Southern kit. Here's a steroid 808 kit. It recognizes these kits, and I can load them in. So that kit's right there. And you'll see here in the bottom now, besides this load button we have here, I also have this little button right here. It looks like a MIDI file and a square here. This will load the pattern. So some of these kits come with patterns, so you can get an idea of how the different instruments inside that kit sound. It's kind of really cool, actually. So I can go to here, I select my load button again, and now I can select the sounds I want to load. I'm going to go to my Southern 808 kit, I select that, and see what happened? It loaded with a pattern already in there. I'm going to pull the sound down here, and then I'm going to play it from the top. And we can hear it. That's pretty cool. So it's pretty simple. Now here you can see the entire pattern. And all I just did was put my cursor in the bottom. I can drag up or down and sort of size up this window right here for the pattern. It says pattern number one. I can click here and I can see the various patterns. My pattern bank. Here's pattern bank one. Here's pattern bank two. See that? And they both have two patterns in each bank. I can set another pattern right here that loads up. Click my pattern bank button back here, this triangle, and I can play from the top again. Start from the very top. And I can press stop by pressing the play button again. So I can load patterns in from these kits.